Let's start with a trade relations with the U.S. Uh, we do know that so far, until last year, 2017, the biggest the top exporter to Nigeria was still China. ECTR Go is the function for our Bloomberg subscribers, and they can see that imports from China top any uh, other country for Nigeria. So what opportunities are there for U.S. businesses when they need to compete with the Chinese? So thank you for having me on the program. Um, we, we've had uh, historically a very good relationship with the U.S. Mm -hmm. and we'll continue to do so. And uh, we don't look at it as either China or, or the U.S. Um, what, uh, we had a very good meeting with President Trump. Our president had a very good meeting with President Trump. And also uh, we met with U.S. businesses, many of whom are looking to you know, invest in Nigeria, uh, set up shop in Nigeria and produce in Nigeria. And we, had, um, we met with businesses in the agricultural sector as well. You know, and um, we had um, very good meetings with them, and I suppose that you see a lot more um, happening between the U.S. and Nigeria going forward. So, is, would that be the sector of more cooperation, agricultural products, and Nigeria uh, easing those barriers for U.S. agricultural goods? My understanding is that it's more. You're going to see more investment of U.S. companies. You know, some of them, yes. For instance, um, companies like Coteva that came out of um, Dow and Dupont. And uh, produce um, seeds and um, you know crop protection services. Companies like John Deere that produce um, tractors that want to come into Nigeria, and um, several other companies that are looking to do business in Nigeria uh, would come to do more. And I think it will be win-win partnership with the U.S. So, Mr. Minister, take us into what the investment situation is right now. If you talk about foreign direct investment into Nigeria, which are the largest countries that invest, and at what level? Well, I think what you will find is that, like, uh, we're getting investment from several sources, uh, certainly from China, like you said, in infrastructure. Uh, we have investment from the U.S. I mean, GE has been negotiating a, a concession to invest in the railway uh, lines in Nigeria, as you are aware. Um, and we have investments also coming in from, from Europe and other parts of the world. So Nigeria actually is, um, you know, uh, we're looking to diversify the economy. And the good news is that there is broad interest from several markets. I'm sure there's broad interest, but and this I'm sure is part of your job. There is there are some people in the West who have some skepticism about investing in Nigeria, and it is things like security, frankly, and also corruption, things like that. Whether investments will be protected and whether they can have a good business there and get the money out. It's um, it's um, obviously quite legitimate for people to be interested in getting their money out when they invest, right from the top. If you look at the president's agenda and the, the agenda of the country. The top three priorities are the things you've mentioned, you know, just need to improve in security, um, to continue to fight corruption in every shape and form, and also to help to rebuild the economy and diversify the economy. And I think we've made progress and we'll continue to make progress. Obviously, it's a long-term effort, but I think um, if you look at our commitment to making it easier to do business in Nigeria, we've seen improvements in the World Bank, ease of doing business rankings. Uh, just yesterday, the Senate in Nigeria passed um, a bill um, on the Corporate Affairs um, Commission to make it easier to register and operate in Nigeria. So I think there's the momentum is in our favor. One thing that has changed with the Trump administration from the Obama administration is that there's been increased cooperation in security. We now know that the U.S. has been helping Nigeria fight terrorism by supplying military equipment. Is this another sector that business relations can actually prosper? Very much so. I think, um, as you know, that's an area, um, talking about security, where the U.S. is quite um, active and Nigeria has some specific needs that could be met from the U.S. And the good news is, that, like you said, there is broad cooperation between both countries and um, we expect that to actually create another um, area of win-win partnership. Have you spoken of any new military equipment purchases or so forth with the administration? Are there any plans out there? Well, as you know, I mean, there, 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 there were um, some defense equipment already we wanted, which the president of the U.S., uh, President Trump, approved. And um, we've already um, committed to those purchases. And we're also talking with U.S. companies that are looking to do more in Nigeria. And many of them, um, I'm sure, would um, do more business with Nigeria going forward. Mr. Minister, many people here, business people, look at Africa as a real opportunity. I mean, demographically, you have a growing middle class throughout the entire continent. It's very, very large, huge potential. To what extent can Nigeria look to African trade and African investment as opposed to from China or from the U.S. or from Europe? 
Well, like you said, Africa as a whole is looking to increase intra-Africa trade, and Nigeria certainly will be, will be part of that. And I think um, there, is, um, there is increasing cooperation amongst African countries, and um, I think that's healthy. I always like to point out that it doesn't have to be a zero-sum game. This can be win-win with the rest of the world. So uh, finally, Mr. Minister, when you talk to U.S. companies, what is the advantage Nigeria has in attracting investment as opposed to other African countries? Well, the advantage Nigeria has is pretty well known. I mean, we're the largest economy. We have the largest population. We certainly are a country where people have um, um, obtained good returns in the past and will obtain good returns in the future. And we are also looking to diversify the economy in a way that opens up opportunities in infrastructure, um, in agriculture, in, you know, sort of digital economy, and so on and so forth. Um, let me say finally that um, we also signed a commercial investment dialogue with the U.S. government, which is primarily to create the enabling environment for U.S. businesses and Nigerian businesses to cooperate and work together for the mutual benefit of both countries and the global economy.